How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some Star Wars game news to talk about. So there's been a bit going on in the past week or so and I've basically just wrapped it all up into this one video as opposed to making a quick video about one thing here and then another thing there just so it's easier for you guys to keep track. So what have we got for today? Well, we have yet more reason to believe that this Knights of the Old Republic game is actually going to happen with arguably the most credible and respected video game reporter in the industry coming out and saying that yes, this KOTOR remake from Aspire Studios is coming. And he did say this on a show, so I'll be playing a clip of that for you guys when we discuss it in the video. We've also got some rumors regarding the Ubisoft open world Star Wars game, including pretty intricate details as to what the game is going to have in it and what Lucasfilm themselves have said that they don't want to be done. There's also some small news for Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Squadrons as well, so we'll get to those as we go. Now guys, before we dive into all of the news, make sure you subscribe to the channel for all things Star Wars Gaming, and remember to check out my second channel as we've been uploading over there, and I'll have a video on the Falcon and Winter Soldier coming either today or tomorrow over on that channel. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But now, let's just dive into the video. Alright guys, so we'll get into the juicy stuff first, I'm not going to tease you guys by putting it all last. So Jason Schreier, we've spoken about this guy on the channel before, a few months ago when we just had that Star Wars game news and rumors bombardment, he did come out and tease a KOTOR game coming from someone that wasn't EA. Well on the MinMax show, he's gone and doubled down on that news pretty reluctantly by the look of it. The host of the show was kind of prodding him for some information on the KOTOR game and Jason eventually sort of caved and just gave us something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play that clip for you now and then I'll talk about it afterwards. So roll the clip. Yeah, um, I still see rumors swirling about Knights of the Old Republic remake and it always goes back to you. <laughs> and like that one in particular, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm like, I think he just tweeted like if it was in development, it wouldn't be happening at EA. And now people are just linking back to that tweet and it's become this weird circular logic where now I have like friends texting me like, hey, KOTOR remake, come and win. I'm like, I don't think that's happening as far as I know. <laughs> you are so devious. You're trying to get more news out of this. You're I, trying hang to on, is there for... actually something there? You're I'm just assuming. I'm assuming yeah. it's all that old tweet. Yes, that's there a is something there. Yes, it's real. <laughs> really? But yeah, Star Wars, Star Wars games and EA have been cursed. Yeah, for sure. Which is why it's nice that somebody other than EA is making a KOTOR remake. That's true. Yeah. Okay. It's so as you could tell, it's pretty much all but confirmed that yes, this KOTOR game that's not coming from EA is happening with Aspire Studios. Now, Aspire Studios are the company that have been behind a ton of old Star Wars game ports and remasters for a while now. So Jason did sort of dance around this topic a few months ago when he first talked about this, but this interview pretty much just nails it down that yes, this is actually happening. And of course, some time has passed since he made those tweets about the KOTOR game and said it without confirming it all those months ago. So time has passed and he is still adamant that this is happening, which is a very good sign. And because this game is not from EA, that does leave the chances of a new Battlefront game being one of those multiple titles that EA said that they were working on. So, I mean, there's that. Now, interestingly, note that this is supposedly a remake, not a remaster. A lot of people, for some unbeknownst reason, have a really hard time telling the difference between the two. A remaster is basically the exact same game with updated graphics, lighting, textures, etc. That's not what this is going to be though. This is going to be a remake, so built from scratch, which is good news in my opinion. KOTOR is great, but it is severely dated, so you know, a remaster wouldn't have been the worst idea, but given the scarcity of Star Wars games these days and they're just not being enough for some stupid reason, a remake is probably more what I'd rather personally, but let me know in the comments what you think about this KOTOR game. Now moving on, and next up we have some rumors regarding this Ubisoft open world Star Wars game from Massive Entertainment. Now, this is a supposed leak that was posted on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit, so take it with a grain of salt, obviously. Having said that though, I've got a pretty strong suspicion that this one is actually true, because it just goes into that much detail and was like an essay explaining what the deal with the game is going to be, and it supposedly was taken from a Lucasfilm Story Group member, and then it was deleted. Now that can be a sign of it being, you know, just a load of crap, or it could actually be a sign of it bearing some truth and then getting swiped down. So make of it what you will. And it's all very plausible stuff and nothing seems far-fetched at all, especially given Massive Entertainment's history. 
Now, like I said, unfortunately, the post did get deleted before I could even get a screen grab of it, but I did manage to read it and I'll give you guys the basic gist of what it entailed. So according to this quote unquote leak, Massive Entertainment's open world Star Wars game is going to be a co-op cover based shooter and it's going to be inspired by The Division, which is Massive's flagship game franchise. So it's going to have similar character creation, looting, PvE, and it's going to take place in the Galactic Civil War and it's going to be centered around a mercenary guild. Kind of like the Mandalorian's bounty hunter guild kind of thing, which was originally the idea that Massive actually came up with, but they ultimately decided to move away from that to a mercenary guild to allow for more customization of characters. Instead of, you know, everyone just being a Mandalorian. And apparently you can also customize your character to look like a Mandalorian if you want to. So you still do get that option to a degree. Now the game supposedly will have social hubs where you will see and interact with other players. The aim with this was for it to be like a cantina with a bunch of, you know, colorful characters, which sounds pretty cool to me, to be honest. Now, when it comes to planets, Massive allegedly wanted a wide variety of planets within the game that we see around this era. So planets like Tatooine, Jeddah, etc. Also, it seems like Massive want to restrain themselves from creating any universe changing moments. They instead want to focus more on the contained heroics of what players will be doing. Now, Lucasfilm did have to step in at some point as Massive wanted to create some classes, including a Jedi class, but Lucasfilm apparently said no to this and to just keep it on the mercenary soldier guild side of things. I assume this is for obvious reasons, as if it's taking place in the Galactic Civil War, you can't really have a bunch of Jedi running around. If it was in the Clone Wars, on the other hand, which I still think they really need to start making more games in that era, they probably could have done this for sure. But that is the basic gist of this rumor. To me, really plausible stuff. But again, it is just a rumor. It could be true. It could just as easily be false. Either way, it is fun to talk about, and I've got to say, if Massive do end up doing this, then I am completely on board with it. But now that we've got the big boy stuff out of the way, I've just got a few smaller things that I wanted to throw into this video. So Battlefront 2 will be getting a performance upgrade for Xbox. You'll be getting an FPS boost for the new consoles. So if you haven't jumped on Battlefront recently, then now would be the time. So nothing major for Battlefront 2, but I thought I'd just quickly throw that in there. And as for Squadrons, Squadrons received its final patch like two weeks ago and there was a big problem that never got fixed. There is a bug that lets you abuse a speed boost and it is never going to be fixed and that's pretty much what's going on. The community manager Jay did respond to this saying that they're aware of it but it was detected after development ended months ago and that there is nothing the Motive team can do as they have moved on to other projects. So Squadrons players, it seems like you are stuck with this bug forever. Now, I personally have not seen this bug as I haven't really played Squadrons since it launched and I don't really have any desire to, to be honest. But for Squadrons players wondering what the deal is, there you go. You're kind of stuck with it now. So that just about wraps up the latest Star Wars gaming news. Some pretty good stuff here. I hope we start hearing more officially about this Knights of the Old Republic game and hope maybe we could get a little something for the Ubisoft open world Star Wars game at E3. I wouldn't count on it, but I mean, hey, we can hope. So guys, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on the video if you found it somewhat informative and remember to subscribe to the channel for all things Star Wars games. I have a massive video coming for Battlefront 2 in the next few days, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. And sorry about the shameless self promo, but remember to check out my second channel. I uploaded a video on there yesterday and there is heaps more in the pipeline. But that is going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.